Hey, prehistoric crew, what's going on? It's been a while, three months almost, since I filmed a video. End of May was when I was in Algonquin, working on that piece last. I've got myself set up outside here. Um, yeah, so, like I said, it's been about three months. Um, it's August 21st today, so yeah, almost three months. Anyways, um, I was just practicing some napping because it's been a long time since I did any, and I had a bit of a thumb injury from softball a few weeks ago, so I've been nursing that. I've been wanting to do some napping, but couldn't get around to it yet. Um, yeah, just did a bunch of bifacing. This was a really weird looking flake before it had a whole bunch of cortex and I'm pretty sure this is a Texas, like Edwards shirt. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. What I'm gonna do, I have a few big chunks of stone that I'll be working on slowly through time. This is a piece of, I believe it's silver sheen obsidian. I think I'm gonna get started on this one today. This one here is nice root beer shirt. I've never worked any root beer. I've had this piece for years. Pretty sure it's nice and heat treated. Um, yeah. Had it for years. Never worked on it. Just waiting for the right inspiration. And I've got another piece of obsidian up here. I think this stuff might be might be black butter. Nah, I don't know about that. It's striped or something, but it's kind of plasticky, like... I don't know, maybe... Yeah, it's probably just a piece of rainbow obsidian that's more like a pastel color. Yeah, it might be kind of cool when I bust that open. But for now, I'll ease into it with a smaller one. Nice piece of obsidian here. Try and get all that cortex off. I'll use my bigger, oops, bigger hammer stone here. And then I've got my antler and all my natural tools. This is pretty much my whole tool kit right here. That all that I use for any bifacing. So yep. Yeah. I'll get my camera set up and here goes. Very right, well I've got everything set up all differently and outside in my backyard not down in my little napping room that's also outside in the backyard but kind of a little concrete room anyways I'm gonna try and do it from here I can't really see the screen too well it's on the other side of me so yeah hopefully this goes all right Stay in frame, more or less. This should be good right here, I think. Alright, here goes. Be extra careful with this obsidian. I always end up cutting myself one way or another. Yeah, this is some pretty cool, like definitely silver sheen. Where is that on camera? I think it shows up there, kind of streaks right through here. Pretty cool. Oh, 
was a nice big flake there. This stuff comes off real easy. I'm kind of going with the grain here as well. silvery in there.
bit in a little bit too deep there. You can fix it up coming from that way though. I had a feeling I shouldn't do that. It's getting a little dark out. 
I guess it still shows up on camera pretty well. I can definitely fix that mistake later. Gonna try and get the rest of this cortex off now. Just about what I was hoping for. At first I was worried that it just step fractured and didn't do anything else, but it went the whole way. Overshot just enough to make things easier for me. Nice silver layer just underneath the cortex there. Don't think I'll be able to really keep that in the final design. Not that layer anyways, unless another nice one appears in the middle of the stone, closer to the end. stop the video soon but I don't want to don't want to leave this too unfinished I'm just roughing at the biface but still kind of a messy spot there things out there that was becoming kind of a problematic spot
a pretty weird spot right there. You can see that kind of, yeah, part of the cortex there that was kind of stuck. Got some of it, but that was a pretty messy flake. Well, it's not perfect, that's for sure. I think I say that a lot. I don't know, pretty happy with it though. How long was that? 27 minutes now with a bit of talking so let's say a 25 minute biface silver sheen obsidian biface all direct percussion with one hammer stone this one right here this is the part that did all the work with some abrasion Right now it's just about the same size as the biface. So I definitely need to go down in tool size. I'm gonna start working with my antler now. Antler direct percussion will be the next stage of this biface. I think for now I'll probably go ahead and finish up this one. I was just working on this biface to kind of get back in the swing of things and practice a bit. So this is my day sight biface that I've been working on forever. Months, at least four or five months, maybe longer. Yeah, got to finish this off next. So I'll do that first before working on this some more, but I'm going to start selling everything that I make on the channel, so I'll auction this off once it's finished and also this and you know also I'm in the process of making a, a website for my business my channel is just part of it so yeah big things on the horizon for prehistoric living thanks to all of you for joining so far excited to see what the future holds all right well that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.